Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to explain how the governor works on a Briggs & Stratton V-Twin. This is a John Deere uh, D110 with a 22 horsepower motor in it. So underneath the throttle plate here, there's a spring right here. And this spring is your idle spring. Because when this starts up, this governor arm goes all the way up. This is the governor arm right here. So when the motor starts up, there's a rod that pushes this down here as the RPM increases in the motor. So it's, which, when, when it starts up, the shaft turns that way. So as this motor spins, this is your cam gear. This spins this. The centrifugal force of this spinning spread these two weights apart and, and this pin pops out. And this pin pushes against your, your governor arm. It just pushes on that which brings the arm up, this arm up here, up here. And this is your throttle. And the only spring that's attached to this arm is this one right here. When the motor's running, the governor arm goes up and it closes the uh, throttle plate. Now this is where you adjust your idle. And if you back that off and there's a gap here and it's still running high, press your finger here against it and if it goes down in idle that means you can adjust that spring underneath there to bring your idle down if it's still idling high this is all the way up this spring is too much tension on the spring bend this thing up like that it relieves tension on that spring and it should bring the idle down when this motor's running i'm going to bring this uh simulate the uh motor running here by pushing this up so the, there's a spring right behind there right right here when you increase the throttle, which we hooked up right here, it puts tension on the spring. See right there, it brings, it brings the governor arm down, which opens up the throttle plate. If you want to increase the RPM of this motor, I got videos on how to do that. I'll post it in the link below in the, in the description, but you, you just put more tension on the spring, which is the spring is hooked up underneath here, which is hooked up right to the back end of the, the throttle arm right there, right there. So all you gotta do is bend that down a little bit and it'll definitely increase the speed of the motor. There's another one here. So this will be your, this will be idle spring. It's hooked up to here. And your throttle spring would hook up from here to that one there. And you just put this up here. Put two bolts back there, and there you go. But uh, I'm missing the uh, the linkage here, and and I'm missing the linkage for the choke too. Yeah, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel, smash that thumbs up button below, leave a comment. Thank you for watching.